Hey preschool leaders, this video is for February week three. And all month long, we are asking the question, who loves you and saying, Jesus loves me. And our memory verse is a friend and you hook your fingers together, loves, you cross your hands over your heart at all times. You put your hands out to the side and spin around. Proverbs 17, 17. And this week we are learning that Jesus loves me and wants to help me. And we're learning that through the story of the centurion who comes and asks Jesus to heal his soldier. So um, kids will come in, they'll start rolling in at 8.40 and 10.40. They can play until 9.10 and 11.10 and then we'll clean up. And from, 11, from 9.10 to 9.20 and 11.10 to 11.20, there's gonna be a tape line on the floor and you're gonna have children move along the line in one of the ways listed below and then lead the kids back to the start of the line and call it a different way to travel. So you're gonna hop down the line, march down the line, walk down the line, tiptoe down the line and walk sideways down the line. And you'll say, friends, do you see this line of tape? I'm gonna call it a way to walk on the line. First, let's hop, follow me. And then you'll hop and they say, whoo, what a long way. Now let's go back and this time we'll march. And then, great job, friends, that was a long way. Well, today we're going to hear a story about a man who traveled a long way to get Jesus to help him. So let's go find out what happened. And then at 9.20 and 11.20, you will head out to large group to hear that story. Um, also, if you have time before you head to large group, another activity that you can do is put the puzzles out and say, friends, we're gonna play with puzzles today, so let's help each other put all of the puzzles together. And then when they finish, you're just gonna say, way to go, you guys did a great job. You are all fantastic helpers. Today in our Bible story, we're gonna hear about how Jesus loves us so much and he wants to help us. So you can do both of these activities if you have time, or you can pick which one you would like to do. Come on, I'm gonna close this door really fast. They're vacuuming after church and it's super loud. Sorry about that. After you get back from large group at about 9.40 and 11.40, you are going to do this activity called feelings. So all around the room, there are four emojis. There's the mad emoji. Uh, I think that's the scared emoji, the sad emoji, and the happy emoji that are already around the room on the walls. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna call out one of these feelings happy, sad, angry, or scared, and you're gonna have the kids walk to that emoji and stand by it. And then you're gonna say the memory verse with the kids, a friend loves at all times. And then you'll call out another one and you'll just continue going back and forth between the feelings. So you'll say, we have faces on our wall, a happy face, sad face, angry face, scared face. When I say happy, you're gonna walk to the happy face. Are you ready? Then they'll go there and they'll, they'll practice the memory verse and you'll close it down by saying, our memory verse tells us that Jesus loves us all the time. Even if we're happy, sad, angry, or scared, he is always there. So who loves you? Jesus loves you. Yay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to retell the story. So we have these three leader cards right here. So you have a big version of all the cards and you're going to have kids sit down crisscross applesauce on their carpets and you're going to give all of them these mini versions of the story. Okay. So each kiddo will get a set of cards and you're gonna hold up the story cards one at a time as they happened in the story. And when you hold up a story card, you're gonna ask the kiddos to find their card that matches and hold it up. And after they find their match, you're gonna read the text that's down at the bottom and then you're gonna have the kids put their story card down. And when you've reviewed all three story cards, everybody should have all three story cards laying in front of them in the order that they happened. And then you're gonna have the children um, see if the kids wanna take turns telling maybe a friend, um, a partner, their story if you have time, okay? Um, so after the activity, you're gonna talk about how the centurion believed that Jesus had the power to help him and that Jesus wanted to help. And that's why he went to Jesus for help. So you'll say, hey friends, so today we heard a great story about how Jesus wants to help us and I have a fun way for us to tell the story together. So first I'm gonna give each of you your very own set of story cards. And when I hold up a card, I want you to hold up the match. Are you ready? And then you'll just say our first story card is a picture of the centurion and his sick servant. So when you find that match, hold it up. Okay, good job. So in this picture, and then you're gonna read the bottom of the card. In this picture, the centurion's servant was very sick 
And the centurion cared for his servant, so he went to ask Jesus for help. Good job. Let's lay that one down in front of us. Now, can you guys find this card? Oh, here's what happened here. And you'll read this part of the story. Lay that down. And then find the third one. And each kid will have their very own Ziploc baggie, so you can write their name on it with a Sharpie. Put their cards in the baggie, and they're going to have some other things later on that will go in that baggie as well. Okay? So then you can tell them, friends, you can practice saying the story at home to mom and dad. So the last thing that you are going to do today is you're going to make finger puppets. So all of the kids will have a Jesus finger puppet and a centurion finger puppet. They can color them and then you can tape them together and show them how they go on their fingers. Um, so you're going to have kiddos. Um, so you're just going to say, I love when you guys help me retell our Bible story. And today we're going to make finger puppets to do that. So everyone has a Jesus and a centurion. And now that you've colored them, we're going to make them puppets. And then you're going to retell the story and have the kids use their finger puppets to help you tell them. And then kids can take home their finger puppets. You can add them to their Ziploc baggie and you can put this note in there too. That way parents have a little script to help the kids tell their story with their finger puppets as well. So kids will take home all of those things in their Ziploc baggie. So that's it. Then just pray with all the kiddos before you leave. Practice their memory verse a few more times, which all of the motions are up here if you need it. And then um, you can watch, um, rewatch the Ollie video and have their snack. So that's it for February week three. Thank you guys so much for serving. I know that it's um, just been a little tight lately. And so I'm so, so thankful for all of you that you continue to volunteer and make this room successful. I'm so appreciative of you guys. And I know our families here at Oak Bridge are as well. So thank you for continuing to serve. Love you all. And we'll see you on Sunday.